SEC versus XRP lawsuit has been a hot topic every crypto investor or enthusiast has been discussing widely. The crypto world is eagerly waiting for the result of a highly buzzed legal battle. Hi, voters, welcome to the XRP Vault, the place where you can find everything on XRP. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more XRP content. Let's get to it. Why the lawsuit? XRP is widely reckoned as a scalable and feasible virtual coin, and due to its specialities, managed to be a part of the portfolio of many crypto investors so far. It offers fast payment, where it only takes 3 to 5 seconds for the system to process the transaction. While being decentralized, it's also used by bank authorities to achieve cross-border transactions. Last year in December, the US Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, filed a lawsuit against Ripple's XRP. The content of the case is that the crypto company raised $1.5 billion via unregistered security offerings, and the commission prefers or demands to categorize XRP as a security and not as a cryptocurrency. The commission also claims that Ripple was already aware that they wouldn't be qualified as currency under the Exchange Act. Ripple took an optimistic stance against the claims and made statements against the claims right away. They stated that XRP can't be considered a security and is reckoned as a trusted crypto by worldwide crypto users and bank authorities. Now, let's move on to analyze the recent updates. Even though the lawsuit hasn't been concluded and is being dragged out, the XRP prices have reached a fair and reasonable stance. When the lawsuit news was publicized, it affected Ripple adversely and underwent a drastic plunge within two days, causing a decline in the crypto's value. Due to the lawsuit, most investors and enthusiasts tended to avoid the virtual asset as they were cautious and caught up negatively in the legal battle. The tendency spread widely in no time and served as a setback for the crypto. As XRP isn't the only cryptocurrency and has got several potential rivals, the condition only worsened. One of the renowned exchanges Coinbase also concluded to suspend the XRP-mediated transactions and trade to add on to the fire. All these things continued for some time. Once Ripple got its hands on the documents submitted by SEC in support of the claims, they could come up with loopholes to nullify the claims. So, within a short time gap, the game changed and backfired. SEC and Ripple now benefited from the controversial lawsuit sending their prices up. Following the case and allegations, the altcoin has again climbed back, showing a positive and robust bounce. The critics seem to have dug a deep hole for SEC rather than Ripple. At the time of writing, the virtual currency is being traded at $1.19. The crypto has been trading at an all-time high price in three years, crossing the $1 limit. When the case was filed, they were trading at $0.26. Cents. Since the year began, crypto has exhibited a growth of 650%. In early predictions, XRP was predicted to sell under $1 in 2022. But due to recent events and positive development, the value increased actively, and Ripple was once again marked as the favorite of many. 3. Motions The legal battle seems like it's going to go on forever. During last week's hearing sessions, Ripple stated their answer to SEC's motion to cut off its fair notice defense of litigation. The crypto company says that there wasn't clarity whether selling the XRP as a virtual currency broke the law, so they claim that it couldn't be liable. The point is considered the most crucial point in the legal battle and can potentially turn the table around. Let's dive right away to analyzing all the three motions and what will be the possible results of these pending notions. The lawsuit that was filed in December has now been reckoned to go through a discovery phase ever since the match, and we only realized it now by looking at the disagreements and arguments popping up. At the end of a discovery phase, typically the settlement phase comes. As of directly, two intriguing discovery conflicts are observed in the lawsuit. Number one, SEC's use of MOU requests. So, the first disagreement is over the US Securities or SEC's request to other countries' government authorities, making an official and legitimate request to distinct governments to present records from foreign enterprises for SEC. At first, most legal analysts considered that it would affect Ripple adversely, and the court would pass an order against XRP. However, the court did not depart a ruling until now. The delay may be considered as a ray of hope for Ripple. 
In a similar precedent case, the judge passed that SEC could use MOU requests as they are voluntary. In this case, Ripple would have to argue to surpass the ruling. But the thing is, if the court wished to rule against Ripple, they could have done it then and there in the last week's hearing but did not do so. So it's likely to be a good point. Like we mentioned earlier, if the court were to consider SEC's request based on a precedent case, then the court would have already ruled in favor of Ripple. So Ripple's motion most likely may get granted in part. Number 2. Legal statements on whether XRP sales were illegal so, the next problem is over the legal statements or opinions that the crypto company received from law firms over time on whether XRP sales were considered illegal. In this manner, Ripple is hence claiming attorney-client privilege in terms of legal opinions. Accordingly, the benefit includes communication among the attorney and the particular client where you will be straightforward on what you did, precisely without thinking of any future complications. However, it has two crucial exceptions to the benefit or privilege. One is the disclosure of future crimes, where if the client discloses about a future crime they would do, the attorney would inform the authorities. The second one is the waiver of the attorney-client privilege. So, in this case, the client would have a third person accompanying them in meetings between the client and the attorney. Considering it, the SEC is claiming that Ripple waived privacy or secrecy by revealing legal memos to third parties. According to it, Ripple has sent legal memos almost 14 times in different cases. The crypto company was provided with legal opinions on whether the sales were considered legal or not under the securities law. Ripple shared these confidential legal opinions with the investor. Here, Ripple is put in a challenging situation, and they'll have to present documents in favor of them and most likely would get entangled in the chaos. A client waives their attorney-client privilege when he raises an affirmative defense that makes his intent and knowledge of the law relevant. The mentioned motion is the most important one in the lawsuit. An affirmative defense is essential because if the Ripple company lacks fair notice to be found by court, it would ultimately act as a complete defense for the XRP, affirming that XRP wasn't aware whether a waiver is considered right or wrong. If the SEC wants to overthrow the cause in a defense verdict, they will have to prove a lot to win the case. Ripple has given a black letter law that states SEC will have to present evidence or prove against Ripple on the lack of fair notice claim. The SEC tried to end the game and took a step forward, which ultimately weighed on the commission, and most likely, the SEC motion will be denied, and the affirmative defense of fair notice will remain the same. Number 3. Ripple mentioned the public feed of it by Chairman Clayton that the fact that transforms digital assets into security is when the offer is for the interest in the yet-to-be-built system, but Ripple already has a built system. Ripple hence states that the funds raised were not used to form the infrastructure. If Ripple makes a statement against the SEC for saying misleading claims, it's a win-win situation for Ripple. The settlement analyst is that if Gary Gensler drops the lawsuit and focuses on bringing in regulations rather than uprooting the whole system, the legal battle would end in two weeks. The following prediction is that if the lawsuit continues further without any settlement, it will get dragged to at least September. According to Forbes, although the lawsuit was initiated and filed by the SEC, it seems the SEC is undergoing a trial rather than Ripple. The legal battle took a sharp turn since April beginning, as Ripple earned some major legal wins. In addition, the US Securities, or SEC, is being criticized and blamed by the people from all countries that their prosecution and claims are at a horrible setback. The crypto investors and enthusiasts also doubt whether the lawsuit drama was initiated as the first step to eradicate the crypto sector as a whole. Hence, the future of cryptos is believed to depend on the lawsuit ruling heavily. Therefore, the majority of people are eagerly waiting for the final verdict. What do you think will happen regarding the lawsuit? Who will win this much-anticipated lawsuit? Let us know in the comments below how you think the case of the century is going to end. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you next time on the XRP Vault.